hello hello facebook hi to all my friends and family happy holidays to you all i just wanted to jump on really quick as i'm sitting here at 11 o'clock at night and i was thinking of some quick gift giving items that you can do on the budget so i decided you know what let me just go live real quick from um my haven back here as you guys can see behind me this is where a lot of the magic happens i run um basically all of my businesses out of here dots naturals i run out of this room um and of course my kitchen where i make the scrubs i run thrifty maven out of this room i sew in this room i make crafts in this room all all the craft magic happens in this room it looks a little crazy a little messy right now because i've been doing a lot of stuff um as well as working but again just welcome in i didn't post anything to say i was going live but i just wanted to just come on instead of taking pictures and showing you guys what i do i'm just going to show you how i actually do it so let me see i'm going to just move this out a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on here so again happy holidays whatever holiday it is that you may be celebrating happy Happy holidays to you guys. And just a quick note from our forever sponsor. Can we see that? Yes, look at that. Our forever sponsor, Dots Naturals. Dots Natural Sugar Scrubs made for conscious minded souls. Here's another Dots Naturals. Oops, where's the camera? Here it is, Dots Naturals. Eight ounces of delicious and beautiful and luxurious sugar scrubs. Where's the camera? Right there. Eight ounces of fantastic, wonderful, and luxurious body scrubs made with all natural and organic materials for our conscious-minded souls. You get eight ounces of lusciousness for $12. So eight ounces of Dots Natural Sugar Scrub for $12. And those are available for gift giving, um, date night, self-care day, spa day, wellness day, whatever you want to call it. And the scents that it comes in are coconut lime, citrus, brown sugar, lavender, rose, chocolate, green tea, vanilla, eucalyptus, grapefruit, unscented, lemon, Himalayan sea salt are all the scents that I have. So I do make them in small batches just for you. And I can have them out and available to you with a matter of five business days. So, and again, payment for anything Dots Naturals or Thrifty Maven is Dots Naturals at Zelle or Cash App and the 6272 at PayPal. So let's get into it really quick because I'm not going to stay on long. But I just want to show you, this, you guys this wonderful idea that I came up with that uh, from something I found super cheap and inexpensive. Or we'll say won't say cheap we'll say inexpensive so i found these little trinkets at the dollar tree which dollar tree now in case you guys didn't know dollar tree is not a dollar for most of the items they're dollar 25 so this was interesting when i bought these a couple of these in november they were a dollar and when i went back to buy more they're now dollar 25 cents but that's neither here nor there but this little container here, it almost looks like an ornament. But it almost looks like a mason jar at the same time. And you can open it and you can put whatever you want inside there. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done um, that I put inside or how to stuff them. So let's just open up and start one. So I, these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of these little... Um, they call it a DIY ornament jar. I call it like a little mason jar um, ornament. So you need a couple of these. Um, you're going to need ribbon. This is the one that I like. Or even something like this. Whatever ribbon you have available. You don't really have to buy any unless you don't have any. But if you have some, just use what you have. Um, some of the things I put in there, you want to get some candies, a little chocolates, nail polish, gift card, or any small item 
that you can basically fit inside the hole in here. So, I mean, I just think this is just like simple, cute, and fun. Just like, you know, like right now, um, you may not have a lot of money to buy someone a gift, but homemade things to me or handmade crafts are always the best way to go. Um, so, I think that's the best way to go if you don't have a lot of funds is to get some things or make something that's kind of homemade. So, let's start with... Some other things that you might need. These are called paper shreds. So it's just like already crinkled and shredded paper that you can get also from the Dollar Tree. So I have some in white. And I have some in red. Sorry, I already kind of like bust this one open so it's kind of hard to see it. But I have some red paper shreds. And then I bought some that's kind of like a gold color. And I have some silver. Now these things for me, like I always have these. So I didn't really have to buy any of these things. I always have that. I always have all different kinds of ribbon. The only thing I really had to buy were these little cute things here. That's the only thing I had to buy. And then I bought the candy, of course. And I just bought like a couple of like nail polishes. You can get whatever color you want. But I thought these were festive. Like one is red. The red one and this is a white one so I just thought those were fun so I just got those um, so let's get started so first of course you want to take one of your ornaments cut the tag off so here that says you want to cut the little tag off because you don't need that and get rid of it so cut all your tags off and then they should kind of look like this and just have the little strings here. These you can use to kind of hang them on your Christmas tree. If you want to do it that way. That would be cute. Just a Christmas tree full of these th little things. Full with little presents and things. So you want to open it up. Just untwist the jar off. And for this one. I'm going to use the white paper shreds. So you just take a handful of it. Like that. And then stuff it inside. Just a little bit. And then this one, I'm going to put the candies inside. So here's our candy. These are chocolate truffles. Because everybody likes these. All di These are different flavors. And then this new candy, I discovered, or someone introduced me to, and I'm like obsessed with them now. So I just stuck that in there. Then you take a little bit more of your paper shreds. Let's move it down so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm thinking mad that you can't see my face, but I want you to see my hands and what I'm doing. So you stuff everything down in there like that. And then you close it. And it looks like that. Looks like that. So it hangs like that. If you want, you can put um, stickers or embellish it with some like pearl stickers or sequin like stickers but I like to keep it plain so that you can see what's inside so you kind of have like the shred at the top the candy in the middle and then you have the shred at the bottom so I already made one that looks like that this is like simple and cute and fun and then if you want to do a different one so let's say like you have a girly girl and you want to give her a couple of somethings. Now this one, see this is like tinsel, but it's like super long, so you don't need a lot. So I just keep pulling it until you get what you need. You stuff it inside. Like I said, you don't need a lot of it. Just want to get it all inside there. And 
and then you take your nail polish now you're going to turn it this way upside down and stick it in like that and put the top on it and then when you turn it around that one has too much tinsel in it but you can't kind of see what's in there so I'm going to take some of it out because I want Oops, I want the nail polish to kind of show. Oops, I'm making a mess. So a little bit. Maybe we'll stick it in there first like that. And then put a little bit of tinsel. I did some already like this, but of course, I gave them away before I made the video, and then I gave them away without taking a picture of it, because sometimes that's what I'll do. I'll just get like so excited about making the project, and I don't do a live or make a video, and I don't um, take a picture of it. Let's see, there's another one. So, so you can kind of see like your nail polish in there. And it has a little bit of tinsel, which still, if you don't want that much tinsel, you can take some of it out. But that's how it looks with the nail polish. That's the white one in there. Now this tinsel is makes a mess all over the place, so. After I bust this open, I usually put it in another bag because I can't feel when the stuff is all over. It drives me crazy. And then now let's do one. Let's use the white shreds again. A little bit in here. And now we're going to use the red nail polish. And remember, you're going to turn it upside down. And this one is a little bit shorter, the, the, the strips. So you can put a little bit more in there. And then you shake around a little bit. And see, there's your... Your nice little decorative item and then you're you can see your red nail polish in there so you have now we have four different ones and now I'm going to do a different one so I'm going to use the red sh shreds and we're going to put a gift card in here the gift card you kind of have to kind of squeeze it and bend it and stick it in there like so like that a little bit more not a lot just a little bit and it's okay that the gift card is bent because you're gonna just pop it right out okay, let's, add, let's add a little bit more Just stick it in and again this is fun and easy crafts they don't it doesn't cost a lot of money if you had to buy everything it's only gonna probably cost you under $20 because each bag of these shreds is a dollar or maybe they're $1.25 could be $1.50 now at the Dollar Tree and a little bit of this goes a little bit of these go a long way. Um, the candy I wouldn't buy at the Dollar Tree. The candy I would just buy at like the supermarket or something. Or at a whatever's your favorite store. 
So here's now your gift card in there. This one is a supermarket gift card. And you see your red shreds in there. So it looks very festive and you can hang it on your tree. Now, the next step that I would do is I'm going to add a ribbon. So let me see. Let's measure. Because I know people always ask me, like, what's the length of that? How long is it? You can make it as long as you want. I don't have any specifics. I just cut by eye. But this is about 8 inches. So I took a red and a green. This has a glitter on it too. So I put the two together like this. And there's a little hole right there. So I stick it in between here like that. Put it about halfway. And then I just tie it into a bow. And you don't have to use what I have. Like I said, you can use whatever you have already. If you don't have, then you just buy whatever you like. And then you just tie. I just tie in a knot. And then here you go, your inexpensive gift for the person that you choose to give it to. So you spent whatever amount you put on your gift card. Your bag of paper shreds costs like a little, like a dollar twenty-five. Your ornament holder costs a dollar twenty-five, so that's like two dollars and fifty cents. Um, you're probably using about less than 10 cents worth of shreds and then you're buying like a whole a whole 12 yards of ribbon from the Dollar Tree which this probably is a dollar 25 now too because everything went up there but that's how it looks so that's one and then let's say we take a nail polish one here's one that has one ribbon so again you just want to make it look nice and festive you can add as many ribbon as you want or as less as you want. So this one, we're just going to take it and tie it. This one probably is about 12 inches because I didn't measure this either. I just cut it and then make a bow. And again, simple, easy, easy peasy. Look how cute that is. However much money you spent for the nail polish, which I think I got this from, I want to say Wally World. It was like probably $2. And that's a nice nail polish in there. Um, in these, if you want, you could put two. I like to put one because I like to give a couple. So that way if someone wants to have like an ornament for their tree for next year. So it's kind of like a ornament that you can reuse to make another craft item or reuse the container the nail polish is there the shreds is there makes it look more festive then you have a little gold bowl and then your little holder to hang it on your Christmas tree and then let's just cut another one so let's do one that just has let's just do one that has a green ribbon on it So again, I don't I don't measure on this project. I don't I didn't measure. I just cut it by eye. And then you see how I cut it the ribbon at an angle at the end so it can have like that nice finished effect. So let's do this one. That's the one that has the red nail polish in it. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the shreds out of this because I think it's too much. That's the right thing when you're making craft things. Like you can adjust, make whatever adjustments that you feel that you want. However you think it looks. You can change it several times. As long as it's not glued down or stapled down. Or fasten down some kind of way you can always change it and I always don't know how things are going to turn out so 
So if I'm making something that has to be glued together, I'll just piece it together first so I can get an idea of what it looks like before I actually make it permanent. So see, you got a little bit of snow in there. And your nail polish. Your two pieces of ribbon. So this one looks kind of festive because it's red nail polish and then you have the green ribbon. So you put it through the little hole, you make it half and half. Just tie a knot. And then you just pull it apart. And it just looks nice and festive. And then here you go. There's your red nail polish inside your ornament. And like I said, if you want to add some oops if you want to add some sequins on there they have pearls that you can buy in the craft section at the Dollar Tree if you want to add some pearls today like embellish it a little bit you can it's up to you I just like it to be plain so that you can kind of see what it's like you can also buy stickers and add the person's initials on the front so this like the things you can do with this is completely endless and then let's just make one more because I have some shreds out here So put those shreds in there like that. Have some more candy. Stop the candies in there. Take some more shreds. Okay, bear with me guys. This is the first time I'm actually making something live or that I've even videotaped like or made a, a video of anything that I actually crafted so here's another one and then let's do one with just red so you can see what it looks like so maybe with the new year like right around the corner I can start doing some craft things so when you guys go back and look at this video later make some comments and let me know if you want to see me if you want to see me going live crafting some things I think I'll pose that as, put that as a question in I'm gonna put it in my story I'll pose it as a question if you want to see me do some things live make some things live because I'm gonna toot my own horn I do a lot of different things I cook I, I I'm gonna say I don't say I have a green green thumb but my my thumb is like a mint green so I do plants, I make crafts, I sew, I do my natural hair, I make scrubs, I do make my own head wraps. I do a lot of different things. I do a lot of different things. And a lot of, of it happens right here. Or if, if it's not happening here, it starts at right here in this room. So when you guys look around, you see I have like, everything you can imagine. I have fabric in here. I have um, artwork. Hi, Jessica. I love these candies too. I'm like obsessed with them now. I can't stop eating them. It's really bad. Um, but I do, um, I have so much stuff in here. Artwork, paint, um, fabric, ribbon, dots, naturals, things. I have different containers. Um, gift wrapping station my thrifting things are in here like I have so much stuff in here it's like insane I can't even imagine like over the years I've accumulated so much stuff but this is some of what I do so these are going to be some of the gifts that I'm going to be giving out this year um, for me Christmas doesn't just end on Christmas um, I kind of do little gifting things throughout the year or to the end of the year so like little gift cards 
the little candies here. And I'm trying to grab these like nail polishes, like little cutesy stuff. So that's a little bit of what I do. So I'll put everything here so you guys can see it. See, candies so I have. I have to put some bows on these to finish these up. So I only do the finished ones here. So candies, gift cards, nail polishes. Like these are little things I'm doing this year. Because it's not all about how much money you have. You have to go out and spend like get like an expensive, expensive gift. Because if you can't do it, you can't do it. So a little homemade something or a little sweet treat. Just to show people how much you appreciate them and what they've done for you. I say it's always a good gift. Always a good gift. Also, let's do one more. So, with that being said, it's 11.30 at night. I should be going to bed and get ready for work tomorrow. But I'm in here crafting because my mind is on overload and I'm doing a lot of stuff. But I am going to go to bed soon after I make this last ribbon. Very, very last ribbon. And somewhere, somewhere is going to get one of these special treats made by me. So just a secret fact about about me is a lot of stuff I, I love glitter and bling. So a lot of things that I make have glitter on them. And it makes me happy when I have glitter all over my hands and on my arms and stuff. I love I love to see the glitter all over the place after I'm done. Which is kind of weird because it drives most people crazy, but I actually like it. So, but with that said, it is that time to end the live. Thank you so much for always supporting me and everything that I do. Thank you for viewing. I look forward to you guys' comments in the morning and I will pose that question in my um, story if you guys want to see me in 2022 doing some more lives um, outside of thrifting if you want to see me doing some lives where I'm actually crafting or making some things um, I'll put that in there you let me guys know if that's something that you would like to see me do I can figure out some easy craft items to see what we can do or maybe I can post some things and be like hey you know craft craft along with me and I can join some people can join me for the lives too but again time to go to bed time to stop crafting because literally I could sit in here um probably all day and craft like a bunch of stuff and um never leave here but reality speaks and I must go and uh, make a living. Um, so I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. End the slide.